together for you to have the album that you have now and how because everything happens for a reason how were some of those like even like the setbacks how are they like blessings in disguise for how the album is now yeah um i'm <laughs> man honestly one of the biggest setbacks led to the i mean they they definitely just went hand in hand every major setback led to a, a an awesome new discovery um kind of going off of what i was talking about earlier with sober like i i was working with a collaborator that kind of disappeared <laughs> and um that's when um that's when i i had my moment with sober where i was like okay let me let me just let me just hit reset for a second what do i want out of these songs um and it allowed me to to again like i've said like take ownership and and really start with all right if i can do anything this is what i would do um which is what led to friend friend was the second song um that i did that with and it was all kind of happening at the same time and, and then i got to work you know um because i've i've been able to work with incredible collaborators on all of these songs but it, I, what i'm saying is that i it had to start with an understanding of what i wanted um you know i i was able to go in and go back to like my co-writer on friend uh rollo and dan gleiser dan and i ended up producing friend together and we produced another song called falling and flying together um but it wasn't until I understood what I wanted out of the song that I could really go to him or go to any other collaborator and say, all right, this is the, this is what I really want from this. This is the, the, these are the feelings. This is, these are the sounds I want to play with. And, um, and this is the, the emotion that I want this song to represent. So, um, the biggest set, I think the single biggest setback is something I'm probably not going to talk about a lot, but it was that moment of sort of being forced to take ownership. And it really led to a different kind of decision making moving forward um, that both forced me and allowed me to sit in the driver's seat of my own music and really take ownership of it. I love that. Yeah. Um, Danielle, are you there? Can you hear me? You've, I know you've been there. <laughs> yeah, you're a little quiet, but I can hear you. yeah um so yeah I'll, I'll repeat it for anybody who might not have been able to hear uh danielle's asking about the normal video um how we managed to get all those plane parts and into the location and um you know normal was the hardest video that we had to shoot it was so difficult to get all those plane. i'm kidding we found um first of all just like talk about just like synchronicity and just like the universe working really cool ways um this really cool i had this these ideas for, for for these videos for i think it was sober and someone will um we'd worked with this this director named carter on uh, a bunch of the music the lyric videos which uh early on you know for i think missing you and all of them right or some of them lyric videos. lyric videos yeah um and i just you know the lyric videos um are always like a spin-off of the music video uh so there's a little bit more trust going into a lyric video where you sort of like, you know, give it to somebody really creative and you say like, you know, go, go wild based on, you know, base it on the music video. Um, and I just remember watching these videos and it was the, the, the edits were really cool and really emotional in it. And, um, Sammy and Val and the whole team, you know, we were trying to find locations for this one video, which led to another video that Carter had directed. And, um, which led to us working with Carter led to me having a conversation with Carter saying, Hey, I really want to do these two music videos led to him saying okay well this is how i think we could pull this off and led to him directing those two music videos um again we 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 were circling back around to okay well we still have to find a location carter came through with this location who had which had everything <laughs> everything that we wanted um and it was out in the in the desert and so we we basically were there for like a, half a week um and it started with a large crew we started with sober and someone will and then it paired down to our really small crew like i uh, um, Andrew Zaya, uh, has been, uh, you know, he's the listed as the, the director for, uh, for normal and for, for lonely loves me and, uh, for another music video that you'll see in the future, maybe even some more music videos that you'll see in the future. Uh, but Andrew has been involved in everything. So Andrew is like a creative director who's helped us and me, you know, build this whole world around red sky and, and, you know, 
keep the colors consistent and keep the imagery consistent and tell the visual story of an of an of an audio album of a music album right um and he's been doing this for 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 years and he's worked with some of the best you know in the business and he's done some of the big, biggest albums in you know in the business and so it was it was really fun to say what if we didn't plan out this extravagant music video what if we just kind of like improv on this location because the location had this sort of graveyard of airplane parts and we loved it because i you know coming from wild blue with so much emphasis on flying and 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 flight and with my emphasis on aviation things like that i loved this sort of like retired airplane junkyard visual as a place to deconstruct the past and that's what it is so so normal you know we literally got on site i think it was like a wednesday morning um and we walked through this you know airplane junkyard and we just picked the shots and we we filmed it in real time we filmed it nearly in chronological order as the sun was going down and um and yeah i love the symbolism of of deconstructing your past in order to reconstruct your future or in order to build your future and that was the theme of this sort of like this series of videos so normal relates to lonely loves me you'll see that soon <laughs> um so yeah so like in in the in the normal music video i loved kind of how it felt like the deconstruction it felt like the, the the boneyard of like you know what happens in you know the conversation of normal which is like how do i untangle my life in order to straighten things out and, and get things back together in the right order yeah so if anybody says it looks well yeah that's not important uh but yeah that's the <laughs> that's the message of it that's what i wanted people to take away from it and um and that's the yeah that's the the spirit of it so thanks for asking um well, I'm running out of time and I've got to run because we've got a lot of things happening. Obviously, announcing the album today was kind of a big deal for me. So uh, we've got some other conversations that I need to have and other things that need to go on. But um, Danielle, Elizabeth, thanks for calling in. Thanks for chatting. And to everybody who's called in and, you know, joined the conversation and for all these new names. Like, I feel like I see a lot of you guys on our weekly show, but it's nice to see some new names and I can't wait to see you guys again and see you guys again in a chat and yeah just join us for all the fun stuff coming up a lot happening and to everybody coming to the show this weekend i can't wait to see you cannot wait to see you at our first show of the year um brand new show um i'm including as of right now including all of the songs that we've currently released from red sky and i'm also throwing some some oldies back in the set so excited for you to, to hear those but um yeah thank you guys so much for joining and i'll leave you with this last song and be good to yourself. Be good to the world around you. I love you. You're the best part about what we do. I said I love you to a stranger.